This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now, having created a new report and decided on its page orientation and its page size, we now need to step forward with our report creation process and actually connect the report to a database. So we're actually going to connect our report to one of the sample access databases. And when it comes to connecting to an access database, you really need to know what version the access database is in. Because in 2007, the format changed. So if the database is in a 2007-2010 format, there's one step. If it's in an older version, so 2003 backwards effectively, it's another step. But we'll look at both steps. Whatever database you're looking to connect to, whether it is Access, Excel, even a plain forward text file, we need to bring back the database expert. Now the database expert appears by itself when you create a new report, but further down the line, it doesn't. So we need to activate the database expert, and we do that by clicking this little database icon here on the toolbar. That brings our database expert up. This window is resizable. And on the left-hand side, it has a list of folder options effectively. My connections, if you click the plus there, we have nothing currently. These are connections to databases you've already been to. We look to create a new connection, and in the list of possible new connections, we can even see access at the top, only because it's alphabetical. So if we want to connect to an access database, we go to here, click the plus, the database name, we browse for that, and in your documents area, so in your working file, you will find a folder called databases, and within that databases folder, you'll find a couple of access databases that can be attached to. We're actually going to choose sample 2003. Now notice the file extensions .mdb. These databases are in the version 2003 or backwards in Access. So I'm choosing sample 2003, the 2003, referring to the version. Open. We have to tell it the database type. Well, it's Access. It hasn't found that by itself. It's just, again, alphabetical. And in the list, you can see other database types, DBase, Excel, HTML, Paradox, Lotus, etc. Does it need a secure logon? You would need to ask the administrator. It actually doesn't. But if it does, we place a tick in there and fill in these bits of data, which is the password, the user ID. A system database path is usually needed for access as well. 99.9% .9 of the time, access is not secure. So we'd leave that tick out. So we've browsed for the file. We've told it's access. Finish. A connection is then made, and you can see this is that database. That's the address and these are the objects within the database. So that's connecting to an access database with the version format 2003 or backwards. If it's in 2007 slash 2010, then we need to go down a slightly different route. We need to come down here to OLAYDB, Object Linking and Embedding Databases, and click the plus next to there. And in the list of providers, you're looking for this one here, Microsoft Office 12 Access Database Engine. Next, then you can browse for the database. Looking in your databases folder in the working folders, you'll see we now have sample.accdb. That extension, accdb, is your extension to look for on a 2007 2010 format. So we're choosing this newer format of the database and open Office database type, it's access. Notice it didn't self pick it this time and there is no password. We will leave the default user ID of admin, but there is no password. Next, that gives us a summary and finish. And then a connection is made to the 2010 version. So here we see the path. So it's in the documents, databases, sample.accdb, and the objects within there. So we've actually made a connection through to the 2010 version. And if we look up here, we can see the connection still exists to the 2003 version. So there's nothing to stop you actually connecting to a few data sources in this left-hand side here, trying possibly to find the one that you're looking for before you actually select what you would like to base your report on. So at the moment, we're just shopping around effectively. There's nothing in the right-hand side. The right-hand side is what you've selected to place on the report. This left-hand side are just connections to various data sources. And we've looked at two different access types. 
we can go through this little access slash Excel DAO option if the database is in the 2003 or backwards format. If it's in the newer format, the 2007 slash 2010 format, you need to come through the OLEDB route. So if we go into there to make a new connection and then choose this provider, Microsoft Office 12 Access Database Engine. Without that engine, that driver cannot connect to the newer version of Access Databases. And I've provided both types within the working files for you to experiment with.